Hello lovelies and welcome to another cash stuffing. If you are new here, welcome. My name's Lily and I am a 23 year old cash budgeter and stuffer. I currently live with my boyfriend and our three dogs and we are in the process of buying our first home together. So if any of that sounds like content that may interest you, I hope that you consider hitting that subscribe button and send in some support my way. But happy cash stuffing Tuesday everyone. Today we are here to stuff my full time income for the fourth and final paycheck of May. I guess I should say the, the final week because we still have a couple more cash stuffings, but we have lots of new things to go over today. Before we do, let's give it a quick count. Our normal disclaimer, um, Mama and Frank are up here with me right now. There's going to be noise in the background. and I apologize. <laughs> So, 152, 53, 24, 60, 84, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75, 85, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 90. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. How are you guys doing today? Today has been the craziest day. I'm honestly really lucky that I could sit down this early and film. I thought today's video was gonna have to go out a little later um, and I'll, I'll get into all that later. But before we go any further, I wanted to quickly throw this out there. I had a few people mention a registry for the new house and I wasn't gonna do it, but I mentioned it to my mom and she would like me to do it just so she can help us out. And like my grandmother heard about it and she wants a link. So I did make an Amazon link and or uh, like registry list. The link is in the description. Please do not feel obligated to purchase anything. I I made sure that most of the items were relatively inexpensive, but there are some larger items on there because the link is also being shared with my family. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's there if you'd like to help, and I sincerely appreciate the support, but by no means whatsoever do I expect you to, so please do not feel obligated. And also, super quick little disclaimer, if you look at it and you're like, wow, there's a lot of stuff on here, <laughs> I'm also kind of using it as like a makeshift shopping cart, so I'll be saving up and purchasing some of the items myself as I'm able to, but for those of you who have asked, it is there. Um, but yeah, I didn't budget anything for gas this week. I'm still using the Upside app. Um, and I also, I didn't have to use all of my gift card last week and I'm doing pretty good on gas. So I think I'm just, I'm okay. Um, if you're interested, the Upside app does give you cash back for gas and groceries purchases. So um, if you sign up using my code, which is in the description box, you'll get an extra 15 cents per gallon back on your first gas fill up, which is awesome. Um, so groceries has $5 left. That's going to go towards the care credit. And I broke it up a little differently this week. And I think I did... No, yeah, I think I did it a little different, but I don't quite remember. So if we messed up the denominations, then whatever, but we should have 150, 50, 70, 90, 110, 20, 35, 45, and 150. And I have been pulling from here, which I know I shouldn't be for this specifically, but mom has been having some digestive issues so we put her on a clean diet of just um, chicken and rice. Groceries is, or eat out is getting 10. Um, and I've been pulling from groceries because I've just been getting it when I go grocery shopping, which I shouldn't be doing. Miscellaneous is empty. One, two, three, four, five to replenish it. <clears throat> but I just don't want to pull from their buffer. And if I don't need the money that's in here specifically, then, you know, I'm rambling. <laughs> Work meals isn't getting anything, still not working right now. For extra ones, to clarify, I'm not working at the restaurant, um, we set aside whoop, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're going to be adding $7 into 
the jar. Um, and then I do have some receipts to scan into Fetch. There is an app called Fetch for those of you who don't know where you take pictures of your paper receipts and the app will give you points which you can redeem for electronic gift cards to literally anywhere that your heart desires. And if you use my code when you sign up and scan your first receipt, you'll get some extra points. And I'll also get some extra points, so thank you guys. Okay. Not a lot of change this week because um, pretty much every time I got change, I was like in the car, like in the drive-thru or something, and um, I just threw it in my little like, what is that little like hand, not hand thing, but like, you know what I'm trying to say, like on the car door there's like a little handle that like sometimes some cars it has like a little pocket and some of them it's just like goes all the way through anyway i have a little extra like cup thing on my door and i just throw it in there if someone can please tell me what that means oh okay so you guys starting this week i have reworked my budget i would say my entire budget but like it wasn't really all that crazy before um but it's actually pretty similar to how I used to budget when I still lived with my parents. But basically, as many of you know, we are moving into our first home. And so our mortgage payment is going to be significantly higher than our current rent because we are splitting it half <laughs> instead of four ways. So I decided that starting this week, I will be budgeting as though we've already moved in and already have a mortgage payment. So... I'm basing my budget off of a thousand dollar monthly payment and that of course is just my half um, but we close in just under a month now and um, we won't have our official first mortgage payment for a few months after that but I wanted to get used to putting aside so much money each week um, just to kind of see what it feels like and of course everything extra that we save from this little experiment um, will go into the first home envelope at the end of each month, but I think that it will be good practice for me. So basically rent will be mortgage and at the end of the month I'll pull out what I need for rent and then the rest will go to um, first home. But yeah, as for the kiddos, they're just getting five this week or from this paycheck. Um, nothing crazy. So they have 1, 253, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I believe I said 3, 75 for the kiddos. And that's going to be the only sinking fund that we are stuffing this week. And I do have some new envelopes. I did mention this before, but I'm adding new listings to the site all the time and um like i just added new fonts to almost every listing i also brought back the flower placeholders not the envelopes yet um but the flower placeholders just a little bit different of a style um and those are active for a limited time and i just redid my apartment binder which you'll see in a second um and i'm working on a bunch of different um new savings challenges um but yeah, so if you're interested in anything that you see me use, it's all linked in the description of every video, whether I use it or, or I make it or not. So these are the new envelopes that I made and I condensed down to just three apartment binder uh, envelopes for now. Um, so I have toiletries, I have household upgrades, and then I have month ahead. And this is where I combined my um, utilities buffer, and my rent buffer and then you know whatever extra cash I had in there and I do hope to save this to stay like a month or two ahead on bills um, but you never really know so and then I don't have didn't have anything in my groceries buffer anymore so I just left that out of it and we're putting rollover to care credit anyway so we're adding five to toiletries so we have 50 75 in here now and I like that this has a white background. I'm kind of considering adding some different colors, but yeah, 
So that's it for our apartment binder for now. And then we're gonna go to our bills. So rent, rent or mortgage, <clears throat> instead of getting like 125 or something that I needed left for this week, we're gonna stuff 150 alone today. And we're gonna stuff more um, <clears throat> with our remaining paycheck or our Etsy paycheck on Thursday, but yeah, so rent has 100, 2, 3, 400, 450, 70, 90, 5, 10, 20, 30, 45, and 50. So that's 550. Technically, I only need 5, um, 25, but everything else that we save in here because we're not going to be stuffing first home. I know it's a little confusing, but it makes sense to me. <laughs> we're adding 15 in utilities. I did raise this envelopes um, minimum as well, our weekly edition. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 30, 40, 55, 60, and 165 in utilities. Car is not getting anything, neither is car insurance or registration, but Best Buy is getting 20. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 90, and 95 in Best Buy. And then phone and annuals are getting skipped today, but student loans is getting 50. So we have 51, 52, 53, and 350. And student loans. And then care credit is also getting 50 today. <clears throat> so we have 51, 52, 50, 300, 320, 40, 45, and 350. Right? Yes. 350 is in care credit. Beautiful. That's it for our bills, looking nice and stuffed. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to our savings. So like I said, the overages went to rent, quote unquote rent, so we're just gonna skip back to manifest. And <laughs> manifest needs five, but I'm gonna put a five back and grab a 10 because I did definitely mess up my denominations in my wallet, that's okay. So we have 100, 150, 70, 80, 90, 200, 205, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 230. What's that, Mama? What are you doing? And then I did decide to put a little bit towards 5K this week because I could. So we're going to add 25 and I'm probably going to need to cheat on this eventually. I know I've said that already, but we only have four 25s left. So who the heck knows how it's going to go. But for now, 5k has 1,500 in the bank, 6, 7, 20, 40, 65, 75. So 1,000. Seven hundred and seventy-five dollars in our savings, <clears throat> and that's it for this binder. And then, last but not least, we have our jar. I think someone mentioned that I might have miscounted last week. That's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is gonna go. <clears throat> also, someone said that I should take this to the bank and condense it. Very smart. <laughs> but I just haven't had the time yet. So, we should have around 523. It might be a little more, it might be a little less, but that's what we should be around. 
But you guys, that is going to wrap up today's cash stuffing. Thank you guys for sticking around with me. Don't forget to check back in on Thursday for our thankful Thursday cash stuffing. And then on Friday, we'll have my YouTube paycheck cash stuffing. And then either Saturday or Sunday, I haven't really decided yet. I posted on Instagram that it'll be Saturday, but I might wait till Sunday for our bill exchange. But yeah. Thank you guys for sticking around with me, and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day, week, month, year, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.